Hey, <clears throat> welcome to our channel. I thought I would uh, clear some things up about my channel. Uh, uh, two or three years ago, I started it with fishing videos. Um, now I've got some barbecue videos. My wife likes to gamble at the casinos, and obviously based on the views, the viewers like to watch the casino videos too. So, uh, I will eventually get back to doing some fishing videos. Uh, I've got some health problems right now in my back. Uh, once I clear that stuff up, I'm going to get back on the water. But until then, I'm going to keep doing some barbecue videos. And uh, casinos? And casino. <laughs> and uh, Travel? And some travel stuff. <laughs> That's wife stuff. So. Uh, Actually, yesterday I, I sold my old country Wrangler offset smoker. Uh, I talked to Chris Goodlander at Lone Star Grills yesterday. And yesterday marked 16 weeks since I ordered my 20 by 42 grill from Lone Star Grills. Uh, I also put about $1,500 worth of upgrades in that grill. So I cannot wait to get my hands on that. So, I only have a Weber kettle and uh, my Oklahoma Joe's Bronco. So today I'm gonna do some beef dino ribs on the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco. Uh, and I'm gonna take them out of the refrigerator and trim them up and I'll bring you right back. I'm gonna get the ribs out. This is what I'm cooking today. Wow. These are U.S. Prime from H-E-B Dino Ribs. They're gonna, I'm gonna need to take some fat off of them, but this is what we're doing today. So I'll bring you back while I'm cutting them up. Okay, I'm trimming up this these beef ribs. Um, I'm having to sit down a little bit because of my back. I have something called sciatica. <laughs> It's very painful. So anyway, what you want to do is you see the, the silver skin and the fat here on these ribs. What we try to do is remove as much as that as you can so the rub will stick to the protein. Here's a slice. See how thin that is? So you have to stick your knife up under and then work it along the edge at the top trying not to gouge meat out. The more you can remove, the better off your ribs are gonna be. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish up trimming these and then I'll bring you back when I'm gonna put some rub and some olive oil on them. So I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm through trimming up. If you'll take a look at the ribs compared to when I started trimming, you can see a lot of that stuff is off of there. You see meat. So that, that rub will stick to the protein. So as a binder to bind this stuff, I'm gonna put some olive oil on this meat before I put any kind of rub on it. You get it on the sides a little bit. Just like that. Let me wash my hand off. And what I'm gonna to use today is a rub, it's John Henry's pecan rub. I've used this on beef short uh, finger ribs before. It's very tasty. So I'm, I'm not gonna put a lot of it on there, but I'm just gonna put a, a sprinkling. Just to give it a little color. That's it. Now what I'm gonna do is let it sit here for a minute and sweat and turn shiny. And then I'm gonna go out and get my charcoal going in my Oklahoma Joe's Bronco. So I'll take you out there when I start that fire. I'll bring you right back. I'm fixing to light my charcoal basket. What we're using today is the Blue Hogs Premium Charcoal Briquettes, they're uh, hickory. 
and I've got some cherry wood chunks and some apple wood chunks in here to create smoke. So I'm going to go ahead and light these guys up. Now what I'm going to do is take this little tool they give you, lift this basket up and set it in the drum. Just like that. On top of that goes a diffuser plate, which disperses the heat, and then the grill top. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this damper up to about three to give it some air and get it going. I'm going to open this guy up all the way. So, I'll bring you out when I put the meat uh, ribs on the grill. Okay, we're back. I'm about to put the beef ribs on the, on the grill here. Turn it up to about 250. So let's open it up and see what we got. See how nice and shiny, how sweaty those ribs have gotten now. So what we're going to do pick them up, place them right there in the middle, and let the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco do its job. This smoker, if you just set the, set the air, air you want, it takes care of itself. So I'll bring you back in about an hour to check on them. I want to smoke them until they get the right color I want. Then I'm going to wrap them in foil and finish them up. So I'll bring you right back. Um, the beef ribs are the color I want them now. What I'm going to do is go ahead and look at that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? Go ahead and take them off. Take them in the house and uh, wrap them in foil and then bring them back out and let them finish cooking. I'll show you. I'll bring them back out in a minute. Okay. Here's the ribs. I'm going to go ahead and pick them up and put them in glue them foil like that. Go ahead and wrap them nice and tight. Now, put them back, back on the grill, uh, and I want to cook them until they reach a uh, temperature of 203 degrees. So I'll bring you back when I'm taking them off. Okay, I took the ribs off the, the grill with my trusty thermopen. It was reading 200 degrees, so that's what I wanted. So we need to open them up, and we need to let them rest for a good... 20 minutes before we, we cut into them and see what they look like. Man, that smells good. Look. <laughs> Look at the pullback on these bones right here. That's incredible. That smells wonderful. So I'm gonna let them rest for 20 minutes or so and then I'm gonna put them on the cutting board and we'll give them a taste. Okay, the, the ribs have sat here and rested on the cutting board for a little bit. So I'm gonna cut this smaller one off right here first.
Oh, wow. You see the smoke ring from that Bronco? That looks really good and juicy. Let me cut this off and, and try a piece of it. It's real juicy with a nice smoke ring. Oh my gosh. Excellent. Excellent ribs. Um, I, to be honest with you, I'd put these ribs up against Aaron Franklin's any day. These are wonderful. So, you ought to give this a try with your Bronco, with your offset smoker, with whatever. Uh, you cook them until you like the color, and then wrap them in foil and let them finish up. I guarantee you that it's, it, they'll be good. So, give me a thumbs up on this video and hit the subscribe button for me. And I'll keep cooking, and I'll see you the next time I'm cooking.